Hello guys, so today my grandpa brought over some stuff he found, so just gonna go over it. Start from right side, I guess. Uh, this U.S. Navy blanket, it is wool, it's not a wool blend, so I think it's wo World War II at least, or maybe a little post-war. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure, I haven't found any dates yet, but yeah, it is definitely 100% wool. What's interesting about this is it says U.S. and Navy. So, I've seen a lot of Navy marked stuff, just USN. Yeah, this one actually has a Navy, which I don't know much about Navy stuff, but, um... Yeah, I don't know if they marked all the, all their blankets like that or what. Yeah, I think this would have been used on, on a ship or, you know, on land at a base somewhere, on the bed. Yeah. Uh, just some hats, both size, seven and a fourth. Specialist, I believe. Just your standard ACU cap and boonie hat but yeah uh, those are everywhere <laughs> everyone's issued them um yeah and then got i'll go over the canteens got these two nice uh, aluminum canteens let's see this one is marked us aga 1918 and this one is marked U.S. AGM Co. 1918. So yeah, they're nice uh, aluminum canteens. This one is engraved K and M. Uh, either post-war or maybe possibly like end of the war. I don't know. I've seen this uh, similar stenciling or not stenciling uh, engraving on other canteens and mess kits and stuff. So. Might be period. But yeah, two nice aluminum canteens. Um, good for World War One because nobody's going to see the date or early or mid, like, World War Two, I guess. Yeah, kind of cool. Just need to get some repro or original covers for them. And yeah, in good shape. Uh, I believe one has the cork and one is missing it. Yeah. Uh, got this nice standard OCP uniform. Came with the flag, got his name, Asu, U.S. Army, and Staff Sergeant, I believe, not sure, but yeah, it still had the pens in the pocket, or in the, yeah, the sleeve, uh, pen pocket, so that's kind of cool, I added this patch, but, um, yeah, so I'm not sure what unit he would have been, he or she would have been in, but, uh, I'm assuming 2nd Infantry Division, so, <laughs> That's the unit that is nearby and stationed here, so, yeah. Large, regular, so that's a big jacket. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, <laughs> we have this small, short jacket. And this one has a contract date of 83. Yeah. So, um... Uh, Got the 39th, I believe, 39th Infantry Division, four scumps unit. Um, yeah, the nylon U.S. Army tapes. That's interesting. Not sure what this unit is, but it's a combat patch. So, must be Vietnam, because this is pre-Desert Storm. So, uh, yeah. And this is interesting because the sleeves have been sewn up. As you can see right here, they've been sewn together. So, judging by that and the small size, uh, I think it's a kid's uniform. So yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. It's interesting, uh, what I noticed is that where there would be a name tape, right, obviously it's removed, which isn't too uncommon, you know, it's pretty common to have the name tapes removed. But it wasn't done recently because you can see the black, it's all faded evenly. Normally, um... You can tell when the patch has been removed. I bet if you remove this one right now, this black, this black part of the camouflage that's underneath here is still going to be pretty bright because it hasn't been exposed to like the sun and washing and stuff like that. So yeah, this has been removed for a while and seen some wear, which makes sense that it was used as a kid's uniform. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, in my other video, or one of my past videos, I've just picked up a Navy Corpsman 
uniform that had uh, pins on the neck and the sleeves and stuff to make that a kid's uniform too, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, just got a OCP BDU, two canteens, ACU hat, and this cool wool US Navy blanket. Uh, he also has some foot lockers that he's going to be bringing over next week maybe, so expect a video on that. And he also brought over a whole bag of patches uh, that he picked up, so I'm going to have to be going over and sorting these and putting them in the binders. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. A whole bunch of ACU ones are really like third ID and stuff. 20th Engineers, I believe, in 1st Army Division. And he's got some older ones and some PDU stuff in here. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and this cool. I believe it's World War II cat badge for an officer. Yeah, it's got a screw back, but I know they use screw back uh, style. Uh, um, what is it, pins for the hats, you know, at, well after World War II. I think even now. Yeah. It's got the pins to make sure it doesn't spin, keep it in place. Yeah. No date on it. Not sure, but yeah. It looks old. Alright. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.